Hi, we do understand that you may want the configuration to take place or to happen on a particular page on your website. By default, the configurator plugin loads all of your customizations on your defined configuration page. But what if you want something else? What if you want the configurator to be on a specific page? That is very much possible. And all you have to do would be, first of all, to evaluate the product in question. Uh, we're just gonna go with the bicycle demo here and to check that a configuration has indeed been assigned to the product as the first thing to check and to make sure of. So from the product data here, you can see that this particular product, which is a bicycle demo, has the bicycle demo configuration. I mean, a configuration name could be anything really. It doesn't really have to be in sync. Um, so that's the first check. The second check would be to use or to get the product ID. Now you can see this particular bicycle demo has a product ID of 102. So that would be very important when you are trying to put the configuration on a specific page. So let's say that you want that to be on a new page. Uh, you want the configuration to be displayed on a new page. Here, let's call it new special page. And uh, so the configurator plugin uses a short code to actually execute this feature. And the short code is, I just pasted it here, WPB underscore builder space product equals here one, two, three stands for the product ID. Now I'm gonna go back to the product so we can retrieve the ID again. This is how to spot your product ID here. All products have different IDs. So here's the product ID here, 102. So we want to input 102 here. And what this means is that the configurator would actually load on this new special page. So let's just publish that real quick. Awesome. Now we can try and test things out to see if everything is working accordingly. There you have it. The configurator loads on the new special page. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.